guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to the Bookworms, buddy. It is time for a super duper book haul. Oh, I've got a lot of books in the month of August, and I'm going to show those all to you today. Um, I don't remember where a lot of them came from. But then a lot of them I do, I don't know. We'll just, most of these came from my used bookstore. We'll just say that. There is a couple in here that I actually ordered on Amazon. So let's just get started. There's no order in these in, in, in the order that I bought them. Let's just get started. So the first one we got here did come from um, Dollar Tree, actually. Um, we went in there last week. Uh, last weekend on Saturday we went in there and I found several books in there so the first one we got here is nine shiny objects by Brian Castleberry um, this one is was a little interesting I didn't read any of these synopsis when I picked the books up I was just grabbing them because they looked like they would be good books and they're dollar 25 so I can't complain about that this one is set back in 1947 and there is something about um, these shiny objects somebody saw in the sky. And they're, I think they're supposed to be called the Seekers. And that's about all I know about it. But it's a science fiction. And I need to read more science fiction. I don't read a lot of science fiction. So there's that one. The next one we got here is called Before the Ruins by Victoria Gosling. And this one um, is 1995. And this is where a, one of these, it's a group of kids. There's like one, two, three, four. And one of them, Andy's alcoholic mother predicts the, the apocalypse. So they go hang out at this uh, deserted manor house. Um, and the house is an unsolved murder on an unsolved mystery happened in this house that they decided to hole up in so um yeah it sounded pretty good so we'll see how that one goes the next one we got here is the body lies by joe baker um uh, thought that cover was interesting of course it is somebody's body you see right here this one um is about a young writer she accepts the job at a university in a remote English countryside to escape the scene of a violent assault. She is desperate to forget. But when one of her students starts turning in chapters that blur the lines between fiction and reality, the professor recognizes herself as the main character in the book and he's written her a horrible fate. So I thought that one sounded really good. Not a big book at all. This, this could be something Maybe good for spook season. I don't know. We'll see. The next one I got here, purely for covers, called The Star Shepherd. And this is by Dan Herring and Marcy Kate Connolly. And this cover was beautiful. In this book, this person's ancestors um, pretty much died and they became stars. And so they are stargazers and if they see a star fall from the sky, they have to put it back. And that's pretty much the story. I think this is going to be kind of a middle grade story, really. But it sounded really cute. And so the last one we got there is The Ditch by Herman. I think it's Herman Cook. I don't know. I've seen people talking about this one. I don't know anything about this one. I haven't read the synopsis. Because there's a lot of synopsis to read right there. So um, I'm just going to not go and read that one. So those were from the Dollar Tree. Let's see this next one, this next pile here. Um, at our used bookstore, I found three, was it this one I found? Yeah, three Dark Crowns. This is by Kendar Blake. Um, this is about three women or three girls, I'm not sure what the age range is, who are going to be queen, but they have to fight to the death. So this one and this one both I found at our used bookstore and picked them up. And then, and this one is Two Dark Rains. This is book three. And then I bought 
from Amazon. One Dark Throne and then Five Dark Fates. So this is all the series right here. And I'm really, I really want to read it. I only know about Three Dark Crowns because obviously this is the first book. I'm not going to read what these other ones are about. So I'm really interested in, in, in finding out how that one goes. And then I found From a Buick Gate by Stephen King in hardback. I have read this book. I read it and I have it in a paperback. But this one was in such great condition. It is not a first edition though. It's just got the first edition cover. But yeah. So I found that one. I snatched it up. And then the next one we've got here is Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. I've really been enjoying Lauren Oliver's writing because um, I just finished the Delirium Trilogy and really ended up enjoying it. So I picked this one up. I had this book once before and my niece was um, interested in reading it. So I said, here, just take it. I'm probably not going to get to it for a long time. So now that I read the Delirium Trilogy, I want to read more stuff by Lauren Oliver. So they had this at the used bookstore. So this next stack I got is all one series and I've been wanting to read this literally for years and I could just never find the first book and it was before I had my Kindle and all that good stuff and it is the program series. At our used bookstore they had the whole series there and I'm like are you kidding me right now because I've been wanting to read this this series is when suicide is an epidemic and um, of course it's probably going to be dystopian but you know what I've been wanting to read it this is by Suzanne Young never had the chance to read it when it was like you know popular out there or whatever so anyway I picked up the program the treatment the remedy the epidemic the adjustment and the complication and that's, as far as I know, that is all of the books in the series besides the novellas, which I don't concern myself too much with the novellas unless I want to know something specific about a specific character or, you know, what have you. And then we got this last stack that I got from the used bookstore. Um, this one I actually... That one I actually ordered. Um, this one I got from the used bookstore. This is Shadow and Flame by Mindy Arnett. It's a YA fantasy. And then I ordered the second book from Amazon, Ivory and Onyx. So that this is, I think this is the one that's just a duology. I'm not for sure on that. If you guys know, let me know. Okay, and then the rest of these all... We're also from the used bookstore. We got After the Fire by Will Hill. They had that one. Um, this is the one actually my husband found. It said before she lived inside the fence, before she was never allowed to leave the property, never allowed to talk to outsiders, never allowed to speak her mind because Father John controlled everything and Father John liked rules. Disobeying Father John came with a terrible consequence. But there are lies behind Father, Father John's words. Outside, there are different truths than King Fire. So, going to be another dystopian. Um, this one is The Key to Fear by Kristen Cast. Um, I just love the cover on this one. I didn't read anything about this one. That's so bad of me to do that. I found a Book of the Night book there. And it's called The Keeper of the Night by Kylie Lee Baker. I feel like every time I see a Book of the Month book, I just pick it up when I'm in the used bookstore because up on top of my shelf I have all of my book of the month books that I've ordered so yeah and then the last one we got here is Rooms by Lauren Oliver I love this cover look at this cover orange is one of my favorite colors um, I don't know anything about this one either I think I'm just going to go into it blind but it was the Lauren Oliver and I'm just I want to read more of her stuff so there's that and then I got I got more from the used bookstore but let's talk about these two that I ordered these other two that I ordered from Amazon um, Girl of Nightmares by Kendar Blake I got this one for my husband this is a uh, I I don't know I think it's connected to 
and a dress and blood because he really enjoyed that one so I picked this one up for him and then I finally got Stay Awake by Megan Golden. This is one of my uh, anticipated reads for this year. It came out in August 9th, I want to say. And I didn't get this until um, last week because I found it actually at the Walmart, I believe, in Decatur, I want to say. Anyway, it was, in one, it was either Target or it was Walmart that I found this one. And it was there. I picked it up. I'm like, I finally get to read this one. Um, I read The Night Swim, and I really enjoyed that one. And this one is about this girl who wakes up in a cab, and she doesn't know how she ended up there. And um, she goes to her door where she's supposed to live, and somebody else answers the door. And, yeah, it was... It sounded very, very good, so I'm looking forward to reading that one. Okay, and now the last trip I made to our used bookstore, I managed to get some more books there. That always happens. We got a lot of books here. Um, we got this one, Last Days by Adam Neville. This is a horror, and this is a cult horror. So I, I don't think I've ever read a cult horror. So I picked that one up. Um, we got this one called The Fates Divide by Veronica Roth. This goes with, oh, what was that book? I just, in my last haul, this is the second book to it. Something, I don't know. I'll put it on the screen right here, guys. The next, the next one we got here is Jack Blank and the Imagine Nation. Not imagination, imagination. Um, this was on the sales rack. I got it for a couple bucks. So this is obviously a middle grade book. But I decided to pick it up anyway and try it out. This is a standalone right here. Next one we got here, which I thought was so cool. This is Draw the Line by Lauren Lint. And this is something about a guy who... He does his own art, and he, he makes his own superheroes, and that's why you see this, how it is, half normal and half his, his superhero. Well, something happens. So in here it says he may be a talented artist, a sci-fi geek, and gay, but at his Texas high school, these traits would only bring him the worst kind of attention. So it's going to be along those lines. But I really like this. And inside, it's just got some of what he does. And then you've got, like, the regular font. You know, the regular story. The next one we got here, There Will Come a Darkness by Katie Rose Poole. This is the one my husband found. So I don't know anything about this one. But the cover is beautiful. And even the back's got those. These, like, little... So, yeah. He said that one was that one sounded good, so we picked it up. And then I found Catwoman Soul Stealer by Sarah J. Moss. Um, I, you guys know, I read the whole series and I like her writing, so I figured I would pick this one up and see what it's about. This next one that I found, beautiful cover. This is called Ordinary Monsters by J. M. Miro. Miro, look at that cover. That is just beautiful. Um, this one is set back in England of 1882 in Victorian London. Um, two children with mysterious powers are hunted by a figure of darkness. 16-year-old Charlie, although despite brutal childhood in Mississippi, doesn't have a scar on him because his body can heal itself. Um, and then you've got Marlo, who is a foundling from a... I don't actually know what a foundling is. But he can mend or meld flesh. So it's just going to be another um, science fiction. So I picked it up. Um, these next two, these are also a duology. These are by Rena Barron. We got Reaper of Souls and Kingdom of Souls. And I, I believe the Kingdom of Souls is the first one. But they had both of those. We picked both of those up. I'm not really sure what those are about and then I also found the Tommy Knockers by Stephen King this one is a first edition and look at how good the shape is 
This is also from the used bookstore. I was really happy to find that one. Of course, I've read the Tommy Knockers, but I only had it in paper. I found the hardback first edition, so that made me happy. And the last book we just picked up from Target. This one is Girl Forgotten um, by Karen Slaughter. This is book two, two pieces of her, which I did start watching um, the series on Netflix. I'm, I haven't gotten back to it, but that's book two. And that's it guys that is my book haul I know it's super long and hopefully you can stick through the whole thing but if you've read any of these books that I have showed you today let me know what you thought of them I'd be interested to know but that's it for me today guys thanks for staying tuned and I'll see you in the next video bye